All right then gang, so in this lesson, I'm gonna be fleshing out the HTML of the web page that we're gonna be designing with Tailwind. Now, I know that a lot of people don't feel like they need to watch this and they just wanna get right into Tailwind itself, which is understandable, but I also know that a lot of people like to see me create the HTML structure because it gives them a broad view of everything we're doing from the start. So if you don't wanna watch this, fine, that's cool. You can skip right ahead to the next lesson where we'll jump into Tailwind. But if you do wanna see me create and explain this HTML template, then stay right where you are and we'll do that now. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new file inside the public folder called index.html. Now inside VS Code, I can just type out doc and tab and that creates me this HTML boilerplate. So inside the body, this is where we wanna work for now. The first thing I'm gonna do is create a div tag and this is gonna be a bit like a wrapper for all of our content. So I'm gonna create a little comment right here just to say content wrapper so we know what that is. And then inside this, I want, first of all, a div to surround our navigation. So let me do another div. Now, I'm not giving any classes or IDs or anything like that to these elements at the minute because we're gonna do that later on when we start to work with Tailwind. For now, it's just gonna be the bare bones and the elements themselves. So inside this div, we need a nav tag for the navigation. And inside the navigation, again, there'll be another div and this div is gonna contain the H1. Now, the reason I've surrounded this in a div again is because later on, other elements are gonna be inside it and I wanted to group them all together. So the title is gonna have an anchor tag inside it, which is just gonna to go to forward slash, the homepage, and the title inside the navigation is gonna be Food Ninja. So remember, the navigation is gonna be the stuff that sits on the left of the page. So, after that div under here, I'm gonna do a UL and this is gonna contain all of the different links. So there's gonna be like maybe home, about and contact. So let me do an LI tag for the first one and inside there, an anchor tag. We'll just say hash for the href attribute. It doesn't need to go anywhere. And inside the anchor tag, we'll do a span and this is gonna say home. So this is the home link. Now, the reason I've put this inside a span is again, because we're gonna have more content here later on, icons, but we're not gonna do that yet. I just wanted to give this its own span in case we wanna style it separately from the icon. So now we have that li tag. Let me copy that dude and paste it down here a couple of times. And the next one is gonna be about, and then the final one can be contact. Okay, so then now we have our navigation section sorted so that was this thing right here so we can say right here if we want to end nav that's what that part is about okay so after that we want to do our main content now this is going to go inside a main tag like so and inside the main tag the first thing i want to do is two little links in the top right eventually which is going to say login or sign up so let me do a div to surround those and inside an anchor tag for each one again it's just going to go to hash and then the first one will be a login let me duplicate that and this one can be sign up like so so they're going to sit in the top right of the page eventually underneath that div we want now a header so that is going to be for the title so let me do a header tag like this, and inside we want an H2 first of all, and that is gonna say inside it, recipes, and then underneath that we want an H3, and that is gonna say for ninjas, all right? So that's our header, dead simple. Now underneath that we need our different cards for the different recipes. So let me now create a div to surround all of these. And inside, let's do a little title. There's gonna be two different sections with cards under it. There's gonna be the latest recipes and then maybe most popular recipes. So let's do a title, an H4, first of all, for the latest ones. So latest recipes, like so. And then underneath that, we're gonna place our cards for the latest recipes. So let me do another div. And then I'll do a comment saying, cards go here like so and then underneath that we'll just flesh out the basic structure of a card which will be a div in itself inside we're going to have an image tag and we're going to hook this up in a minute when i import the images or rather place the images into the public folder we'll do that in a second but underneath the image we're going to have a div to surround the text content inside we'll have a span for the title which we'll call five bean 
chili stew like so and then underneath that I'm gonna do another span which says a recipe by Mario all right so that is pretty much it for the basic structure of a card a div with an image inside it then a div for the content as well the text content all right so eventually we'll have several different cards but I'm not gonna duplicate them all now because this is gonna change in the future and when we have finished the design with all the different classes then we'll duplicate it okay all right, so that was the first section. I'm actually just gonna copy this because we have two sections, remember. We have the latest recipes and the most popular ones. So let's do another H4 to say most popular, like so. And underneath that, we need another div. Oops, forgot the M right there. We need another div for the second section of cards. And inside here, I'm just gonna do a comment to say cards go here. And you know what, I'm not going to duplicate the card and place it down here again because again, I don't want to have to rewrite all of the different classes we apply to this, to these ones as well. So we'll concentrate later on styling this up alone. Then when it's finished, we'll duplicate it into the different sections where we need it, okay? So then, that is pretty much done. We just need one more thing at the bottom and that is gonna be a load more button. So. This is going to have a div to surround it and then a div inside. And the reason I'm doing it in this structure is so that we can apply styles to a parent and also the button itself. Now, this could be a button element if you prefer or an anchor tag. Really doesn't matter. I wanted to show you various different ways to work. So I've mixed it up a little bit. So this just says load more. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. So this is the basic template for our project now it would be nice if we could preview this in a browser now you could do that by finding the file inside your file system and then just double clicking on it to open it up in a browser but what i'd like to do is spin up a local development server instead and to do that I've installed a package using NPM globally on my computer called Live Server, and that allows us to serve up any folder we want on our computer so we can preview it in a browser. Okay, so to do that, to install it, all you have to do is say NPM install live-server hyphen G to install it globally on your computer, meaning we can use it anywhere. So press enter to do that. I've already done that. Once it's installed, we can say live hyphen server to spin up a local development server, then the folder we want to serve files from. Now in our case, relative to where we are here, it's gonna be in the public folder. So I just say live server public, and then it starts up a development server and serves from this folder right here. And this browser just opened up on my other page. Woohoo! So here it is. And this is what our project looks like so far. Not great. Now, these things right here, where we have purple text and underlined and different font sizes, these are the default browser styles. They are applied by default to our elements by the browser. Now then, we need to link up to this style sheet right here because this is gonna contain all of the different classes we'll be using later on. So let's do that at the top. I'm gonna to say link and it's gonna to go to styles.css. Okay, which is this thing right here. Now, if I save this, you're gonna notice over here, it automatically refreshes and updates and it strips out all of those browser default styles. So now everything looks absolutely the same and it's just a list of text. Now that reminds me, we need to add our images in as well as the text. So what I'm gonna do is open up this folder, which I have right here, and I'm just gonna drag these three images into the public directory. In fact, no, I won't. I'm gonna create a new folder called image and then I'm going to drag them into that folder right here. So down here in our card we can link to one of those so I could say we want it to go into the image folder forward slash stew.jpg and for the alt we'll just say stew. If I save that we should see that over here now. Cool. So again looking very bland at the minute but Tailwind has already stripped out all of the default styles and that's because we have this style sheet right here, which does that. But anyway, now we have the HTML page sorted. We can dive right into styling it with Tailwind. And we're going to start by styling the text and the colors of some of the different elements in the next lesson.